I took songs that I liked, like Ain't No Mountain High Enough, and gave it to Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> trying to poke fun at these characters or what do you try to, what aspect are you trying to draw out well you know the thing is is that you know though I call myself a female impersonator in some ways I'm a drag queen the word is camp mm -hmm. you know what I mean and and for the heterosexual audience camp is like you go to the woods you pitch a tent you fish and then you cook it <laughs> well we do the same except we do it in heels <laughs> in some ways trashing the ladies a little bit or making a little spoof of them. I'm, I, I make spoof of the industry more than I make spoof, I think, of them. And then again, if you can't make fun of rich white people, who can you make fun of? <laughs> oh. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm a stand-up comic and I'm trying to be funny. I'm putting people down, that's the way I make my money. Oh, sure. Give me talk, give me talk. Oh, sure. Grow up. Oh, sure. Give me talk, give me talk. Oh, sure. Grow up. What, what do you think is the appeal of celebrities for the gay community well the women that i do are very strong women people like betty davis and katherine hepburn and marilyn monroe went through the same discrimination that we went through mm -hmm. you know through the industry mm -hmm. so but they came they came out of it strong healthy people and and i think that if you look at them as people we too can come out of what we came out of through the 70s you know in the 80s as strong healthy people too <laughs> Sheridan, Mary Hart, Chuck Woolery, are as big as they can be.